UNC Indiana, a site for what should be an incredible college football game. Well, we're going to see some freezing fans out there tonight to watch the Hawaii Warriors and the Cardinals of Ball State. And here come the Cardinals. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here ready and excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. The Warriors come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Well, I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close at all. Hawaii has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Hawaii has a huge advantage in one particular area, the running game. Kirk, look for them to run the ball 40 to 50 times in this game and absolutely demolish and demoralize this defense. Big win in this one. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number 19 fields it at the nine. Jake's off attack. Kickoff return 17 yards. Number 19 on the return. They'll take over at the 25. First and 10. Ball State comes out with an eye formation. There's a play fake. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Number 32, alone in the backfield. Here's the give. They'll bring him down, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Three-yard gain on the play. They're down in seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. They come out with four wide out. It's a direct snap. He's on the run. And he's tackled. And that was a nice gain, and he's going to have enough for the first down. Well, I think, Brad, the offensive line won the battle up front. You could see the defensive line getting knocked backwards, allowing the ball carrier to pick up a nice gain. First it's first and ten. Ball, ball on the 39-yard line. Yard. Number 32, the lone back. They get it out there on the toss. He throws it to his quarterback. And they make the stop. I'm sure they were looking to get more than that with that play call as the trick play only nets them a few. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. We're at the one-minute mark. First half. Ball State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He drops back. Down the middle. And it falls incomplete. And that was out of reach for his tight end. The intended receiver on the play. Ball State sets up in the eye. Ball on the 42-yard line. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 30 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number two takes it at the 32. He tries to spin. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll set up shot at the 36-yard line. Ball State lines up with five defensive backs. He's looking. Steps up. Across the middle. It's dropped. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Bunch formation. Drops back to pass. Looks. Across the middle. Got it. And down he goes. And they get a few yards on that little reception. Check it out. He ran a good route on his play. And the timing of the pass was good. And they were able to get a nice game. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 45. Three wideouts to the right side. Looking. He steps up. Let's it fly. Off his hands, incomplete. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball. Going right at him. He just didn't catch it. Ball State has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep on the left side. The ball is tipped. Incomplete. I wonder why they went for it there. Yeah, me too. It's still early in the game to have to gamble like that. You have to question the play calling there that puts a lot of pressure now on their defense. They'll start this drive at the 45. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Across the middle. And he dropped it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. Back to pass. Going deep. Lays it out there. It's tipped. Did he catch it? Yes. That's the end of the first half, folks. We Ball State got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. Number two takes it to 21. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 37-yard line. The Warriors come out in the ace formation on the ground with the tailback. He spins around, brought down. About Number seven six, yards on that on carry. Three. Seven yard gain on the play. Second, Second and three coming up, ball on the 44. Hawaii goes with the ace set here. They'll go with the run once again. And they make the stops, and a first down for the running back. It's a big first down for this offense. Now maybe it'll take some of the pressure off the quarterback. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Three wideouts to the left side. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. The running back gives them six on the ground. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. The cards bring in the nickel package. Brought down. And a good run by the halfback. That was a sensational play right there. You know why? Because they converted their first down and kept the other offense off the field. First and ten. Ball on the 34. And that'll wrap up another quarter of play. We played three, and we're still scoreless. We're down to just a minute in this game. The Cardinals line up in a nickelback. On the ground, up the middle. Gets past the tackler, and they make the stop. They grab eight yards there. Gain of eight on the play. Here are today's Red Zone players of the game, which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. You'll get the call again. They'll bring him down. Nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Single set backfield. Here's a counter play. He's got a lot of green. Can't wrap him up. And he's tackled. Those buffet bashers are doing a heck of a job on this drive. And by the way, the way they're opening up those holes for the running back, you could say they're eating their defensive line for lunch. This offense is a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. 
flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. They'll get pushed back with the flag. You guys know coaches do everything they can to teach discipline, but sometimes these players get so fired up that mistakes happen. Ball State brings in their nickel package. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Number six on the run. 11 yard gain on the play. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. They come out with four wide out. He drops back with the throw. The ball is tipped. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Drops back to pass. Steps up, throws this one out to the left. Got it. Touchdown, Ball State. How do they let the tight end get so open on such a big play? That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. And he tacks on the extra point. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Let's see if they can answer the call here. Well, the big thing here is patience. There's not a game clock. You've got a fresh set of downs to work with. You just got to take your time and don't risk turning the ball over. The cards bring in their dime package. Laterals back. And they make the stop. A pickup of four on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 21. The Cardinals line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. He's looking. Fires in and out of his hand. The wideout unable to catch that pass. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Cards bring in their dime package. Looks. He steps up, throws it to the outside. Couldn't haul it in. That time, the wideout just got too excited, too quickly, and forgot to catch the football. Boy, Lee, we continue to see this. It looked like he was ready to celebrate before he caught it. Fourth and a long shot. He drops back, looking. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. He brings it down. Touchdown. My goodness, guys. That was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. Gutsy call by the coach here as they're looking to go in front with his two-point attempt. He's looking. Go into the end zone, and it's caught for two. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. And that's the end of this overtime thriller. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Whoa, this was almost a huge upset. Ball State is lucky, and they know it. Woo! They can let out a big sigh of release because this one's over. But they now realize they have to stay focused every 